It's Madden NFL 23, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the New York Jets on EA Sports. We're situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. Nowadays, I don't think you get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. A number eight, Lamar Jackson, trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. Early part of his career, defense has really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do. But now, he's turned himself into a true dual threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, Good things happen downfield. They start the drive on the ground with Lewis. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Here's Jackson. And this one complete to Smith. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now Lewis here on first down. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They try again with Lewis. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. On third down, Jackson. 
And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. Well, you know, paramount for this defense is trying to keep Lamar Jackson somewhat contained when he tries to run. They did a pretty good job of it there. And you know what's so difficult for every defense that has to prepare for Lamar Jackson? You have to think and play at the same time. And I know that sounds like something you're supposed to do, but when you have to think about your assignments against him, it often slows down your feet. You don't move as fast. You've got to be prepared for this guy every step of the way and then try and match his athleticism. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. And they'll be let out by their six-year quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They start the drive with Martin. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the gun, a give to Martin. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Namath. Going right side here, and that's complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. On first and 10 now, Namath. And Walker has it. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. A give to Martin here, out of the gun, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Namath. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. They'll run it. Here's Martin. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. 
give him two on the play there. And that's good for a jet first down. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this open drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Again, it's Martin. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. To throw is Namath. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go that sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Ravens are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw complete there to Smith. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So a mistake there, Charles, from the rookie pass rusher. And oftentimes when you make the jump from college to the NFL, you have to adjust to the rules. But in this case, the rule's no different than in college. Once the ball's gone, you can't continue on and get your shot in. That's one where you have to have some discipline. And even though he's a rookie, he really should know better. And some room to run now. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 49 yards rushing for him now. And he's only carried the ball four times. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And there's an old chestnut of an expression called getting on your horse. And I hate to use it, but I'm going to right here because it absolutely applies. How about the head of steam he had behind him? And he was absolutely galloping downfield. That was something to see. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 
And between the last two plays, they moved it over half the length of the football field. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. the handoff Lewis running left and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever second and ten it's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard but they stopped him there for nothing you're talking about tiny you're talking about the little guy back tiny. there that monster yeah you're exactly right and it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space the first guy in He's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. From the gun, Jackson. And that will be incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good, and the Ravens strike first at 3's him. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense, the firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. And a touchback here as Walker will sit on this one. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. On second down, Martin. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Namath. Finding Walker complete. Yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. A 
Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think that's a pretty nice job defensively against the jet sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house. So they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. They'll try the middle with Martin. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now Namath. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing his Namath. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's gonna be marked down just inside the 35. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Working with second and five now. Namath to throw. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Name it to throw on first down. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? And that one on the rookie, Charles, maybe a little too overeager. You know how many times you know about the quarterback having to have a clock in his head and make sure the ball gets away before the rush gets there? When you're a pass rusher, you have to know when the ball is gone and make sure you don't hit the quarterback afterwards. I know he was trying to make a play, but that time, he ends up drawing the flag. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they go to work on a first and goal. Drops it off to Martin. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. What's up, man? Well, that flag puts him on their heels a little bit more defensively as the officials walk it upfield. Yeah, and they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because, to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused and avoid major mistakes like that. They'll try to run this one in. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have taken the lead. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Point after here coming up. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run.
The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. This one fielded at the five. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Sets up the screen to Lewis. A good convergence there defensively, only a yard, and it's second down. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. A second down run with Lewis. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. 56 yards rushing for him now to this point. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two. Here's Jackson. He's got Mason complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. They go play action with Jackson. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle. And frankly, partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fade. After the sack here, second and 11. Now a give, running right is Lewis. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Jackson. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's good play. And he will get this to the midfield strike, but that's not going to be enough. He's a few yards short. The screen does get him nine, but it also brings up a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. The Ravens send their punter out now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. New York's offense back out there and set to go. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Here's Martin as they begin on the ground. And this will leave him a yard short. 
Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. They run it again with Martin. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. He'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Here's second and a yard. Off the play fake, it's Namath. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 33. A good pick up there, a 22. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 33. Namath now from the gun. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. And a 10th carry here for Martin. And not much running room. Down to the 32. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On third down, he'll drop to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 14. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Walker. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. Second and two, first down marker at the five yard line. Back to throw here. They set up the screen to Martin. Touchdown! A seven-yard touchdown ground. And they are able to add on to their advantage. 
TD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Point after, right down the middle. And that pushes the lead up to 11. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the 5. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is 1. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Up the middle here, it's Lewis. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And this offense on third down today, they've only converted once in four tries. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Play action. It's Jackson. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now it's Jackson. Over the middle complete. That's Mason. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And just a yard to go here on second down. Jackson now off the bootleg. This is Smith with a grab. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. But the truth is, they're probably going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Throwing is Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. 
The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So that last penalty, making this third down much more manageable. Third down, four yards to go. Jackson now. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now it's Jackson. Flush to his right. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson taking it in from seven yards away. And the Ravens are back within a score. Well, that was all Lamar Jackson all the time on that drive, both through the air and in the end with the touchdown run. Yeah, how about him doing things a little bit on the reverse side there, Brandon, because he softened him up throwing the football and opened up the running lanes. And when he gets a little bit of a sliver, he's gone. And that's exactly what he did there. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a 14-10 ball game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a touchback here as Walker will sit on this one. The New York set to take the field. They're starting to put some space here. You know, first quarter, they didn't look so hot offensively. This second quarter, though, they've looked really good. They've jumped in the saddle in a big way now, and now they're in full gallop. I mean, before, <laughs> kind of cantering around a little bit, right, trying to feel their way, not getting done what they wanted to. But somehow they put it together with play calling, execution, and now there's a pretty big gap. And they'll look to make that gap even bigger here. On first and ten now, Namath. Looking middle, and that's complete. Finding room at midfield. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a game of 34. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just saw receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. To throw is Namath. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. Now this looks like a roughing call. So now a fresh set of downs. First and ten after roughing the passer. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. Touchdown, Jets! An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And if you blinked, you probably missed that touchdown drive. It happened in a hurry. I was just putting mustard on my hot dog, and all of a sudden, he's in the end zone. I've got to do a better job of paying attention for this quick strike offense. I thought you were going to tell your wife about the hot dogs in the booth thing. I just did, didn't I? Yeah, you did. You did. 
Now the try here for the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded right at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And the Ravens taking the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, back door them, and that time worked well for a solid game. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. First and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Jackson's throw complete there to Smith. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. To throw again is Jackson. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for a sack. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Tucker's kick is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. 
And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. So we've hit halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the home team, the Jets, leading this one. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. First, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Ravens. And despite the fact that they're down on the scoreboard, they were able to have some success throwing the football in that opening half. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they were even better throwing the football. Lots of open receivers to choose from, and you can bet that'll continue to be a focus in the second half. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. And a touchback here as Walker will sit on this one. And the Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter as this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half. Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They've reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went into the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. The third quarter starts with a run by Martin. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the 27, Namath. And Walker has it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Now Namath. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That goes for a gain of 31. You ask tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner, Great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Namath. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Up the middle, it's Martin. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, 
He's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Namath. And Martin's got it complete. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Now the Jets will call on the field goal unit here. This a 43-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And the lead now 11, 24 to 13. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taking it about the one. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 18. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Here's a give. Lewis running left. The limited running room is he'll get about three to the 21. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all, and it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Jackson sets up the screen to Lewis. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Only needing two yards on second down. Lewis between the tackles. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards the pick up, first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Jackson on first down. Caught right side, it's Lewis. 
It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. come in. I think one of the Ravens got going a little early. Now they nab the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All of his assignments and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. On the handoff, Lewis. It's a five-yard pickup, so essentially they get the penalty yardage back, and it's back to second and ten. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Again, it's Lewis. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Jackson to throw. And he'll just get rid of it. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Tucker's kick is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high, as he once had six oh, field oh, goals. Oh, Brandon, but, but six? Let's hope we don't get that again, <laughs> please. Okay, can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And a touchback here as Walker will sit on this one. And New York set to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Name it to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. 
And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A uh, play fake, now Namath under a heavy rush, and down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. Now the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, You've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. A give left to Martin. Fancy footwork at the 45. And he'll get it down here to the 43. 57 yards on the ground for him so far. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 14 yards is the pickup there at a jet first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Off the play fake, it's Namath. And he's going to get this down near the 25. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. From the 25, here's second and six. Another tote for the workhorse, Martin. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Throw left side complete. That's Walker. And he is going to have a Jets first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. First down, here's the run with Martin. And despite the fancy footwork we saw, they'll get to him just inside the 15. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. From the gun, a give to Martin. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Throwing is Namath. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be first and goal. Yeah, the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, the plays happen, let it go. It's over. Instead, it creates a penalty. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. And that one really pushes him back. A loss of nine. And now it's third and goal after the sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. A give going right to Martin, and he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Such a long drive here, three points. That would be a disappointment, but I don't know if you can go for it here, can you? Well, you know, the defense was really giving them a lot all the way downfield, and now... They've stiffened. Forget that bend don't break. Now they don't even want to let them get a yard, do they? So in this spot, remember what the coaches told us before the ball game? Any drive that ends with a kick is going to be okay with us, whether it's a punt, a field goal, or an extra point. Take the field goal right here. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal to start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Pass on the crossing route is complete. This is Andrews. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. To throw is Jackson. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. 
But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Jackson. Throw right side is complete to Andrews, his tight end. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. This offense so far on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and eight. Jackson will throw again. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Here we go, it's Jackson on fourth down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is gonna have a Ravens first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and 10. Now Lewis here on first down. And he's able to get this one down to about the 40. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Throwing is Jackson. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver, separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now Jackson. And looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. The New York set to take the field. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Name it to throw on first down. Flushed out right. Gonna throw right side here, complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 25 yards that time. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame him? The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. To throw his name if. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. 
A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely because, remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. After the sack on first down, Namath goes underneath to Martin. Call it a gain of a yard. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he can't escape, and down he goes. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Here's the Jets punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Good open field tackling there, a 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 16. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now it's Jackson. Quick slant here to Smith. And he'll be dropped just shy of the 35 at the 34. A pickup of 17 on a play that originated at the 17. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up. But they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now it's Jackson. And that'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. And Jackson throwing once more. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 45-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Mark Andrews. 
45 yards. And the Ravens have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this, and I know you are too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Jackson here is going to look to throw. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets him back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. Carry number 20 here for Martin. A gain of three, second down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Namath. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. They'll run it. Here's Martin. And that little deke, the juke move that we saw, able to give him the first down yardage before he's brought down. 88 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Namath. Rush coming, and he's taken down. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll try and wind some clock down with Martin. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. 
The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Again, it's Martin. And he's got Rome. And a pretty good burst there. So get this across midfield and down to the 46. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They run over center with Martin. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try the middle with Martin. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll indeed take a knee. On second down, Martin, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes a defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play-action passes as well. The last two plays each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for your kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, we all just got a heck of a show, partner. This was a close game for a long time. Close at half, close down the stretch. Home team finds a way to get it done, a narrow victory. Yeah, they finished with a flourish, didn't they? Because there were times where each side looked like they were the better team out there. 
And the outcome is in doubt for much of this game. Every snap seemingly more important than the previous one. Great effort from the guys visiting, but in the end, how about those guys in their home stadium finding a way to win?